sorry. But... Okay, United Hope for Animals would like you to meet Howie, and Howie's ID number at the Baldwin Park Shelter is A4973254, and he's a little male, brown and tan. Uh, we're going to say Spitz Mix. He's a tough one. We can't quite identify his breed. He's, uh, he's like a miniature something or other. Shep, I don't know something. He's, just, <laughs> he's a mutt. He's a mutt is what he is. He's a mutt. Uh, he's a Baldwinese. <laughs> uh, he's about 10 years old. Came in as a stray on uh, July 17th out of Baldwin Park and weighs about 13 pounds. Um, we don't know a lot about him because, frankly, he just wants to do what he wants to do. He doesn't want to be cooperative. <laughs> he doesn't want to walk where you want him to walk. Or he's just pissed. I think he's just really pissed. He reminds here. me of uh, Stella Getty on the Golden Girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he is really sweet when he wants to be. He likes being, you know, getting scratchies. But he just wants to do what he wants to do. He's yeah. a little obstinate. He, look, he's 10 years old. He just wants a place where he can relax, have a soft bed. I think once he's out of here, he's going to choose his person, and then he's going to be nice and affectionate. I mean, you can tell already he yeah. wants to open up. He is scared. Yeah. He also has these little... Um, he's got an underbite that's so it hilarious. Looks like hilarious. He's, he's always snarling at you, but yeah. honestly, um, he's been doing a little bit uh, of, of growling, but no, it's just fear. He yeah. hasn't been trying to... No, not really aggressive. It's just I think he He's cranky. He's, he's just cranky. Over being here. This is nice. He's like, I don't I put I paid my dues. Why am I here? So we need somebody that's just a special person that's gonna wanna have somebody that really bonds with them, give him a time, need to decompress, let his, you know, get some good food, diets, a good some good brushing, get his, his uh, coat back in order and just give him a place where he can just a soft place to land where he can eat soft food and get scratchies and just do his thing and you you know, it's it. Sometimes you know these the, the older dogs are a harder sell, but it's really, really, um, it's worth it, and it it feels great when you can get them to open up and and just be happy. Yeah, and he looks like he's baring his teeth to you, but he's not. No, that's, that's just that's what permanent. he looks like. <laughs> he's got those two bottom teeth that just are permanently on the outside. Oh, you are cute. I'm sorry, but he's just very. He's kind of a cranky old man today, so you know, hard to say. Just uh, it's hot. He does. He just doesn't want to do anything he doesn't want to do. But come on down and meet him. Uh, you know, if you can handle this kind of uh, uh, challenge and project, he's going to be a, he's going to be a great dog. But he's had a tough break. He shouldn't be here. Ten years old. Nice. He's like I say, he's put in his time. He should have a nice, comfy place to live. But he's here he is. Scared. You can really tell he's rotten place. He just wants. Yeah, you're going to relax now. He just wants to relax. Yeah, you're going to relax now. It's all he wants. It's not so much to ask, is it? No. Please, please, somebody come down and meet Howie. Take him home. Give him a give him a new start. Uh, make him comfortable, and let him be the. If get him be grumpy if he wants to be, but you know I bet he'll lighten up when he's got his own place and his nice com cozy place and yummy food and he's gonna feel better and he won't be grumpy anymore. Right? You promise? Bye, Howie.